Today we will start lecture 3-1 on sensitivity analysis. The objective of today's lecture is to define the sensitivity of a feedback control system, to derive the sensitivity function based upon parameter or block variations, and to determine the steady state error, error and sensitivity of a control system with a disturbance or sensor noise. So far we have learned three important control system characteristics including stability, transient, and steady state response. Another important characteristic of control systems is sensitivity. It is integral to control system design and system matching to understand how the system will respond to small variations in parameter values or disturbances, such as when you're driving a car and there's wind, rain, or noise of some sort. Since the system sensitivity is a function of frequency and it is important to know the system's operating frequency so that the effect of parameter or block variations may be minimized. Feedback can help compensate for variations inside of a closed loop in order to be less sensitive to variations in the plant. Feedback also reduces the effects of disturbance inputs upon the system response. System sensitivity is the ratio of the change in the system transfer function to a change in a process transfer function or parameter for a small incremental change. The system sensitivity of a parameter alpha is defined as the ratio of the percent change in the system transfer function, T of S, to the percentage change in the parameter alpha from its nominal value of alpha naught. So assume that T of S is equal to the numerator N of S over the denominator D of S. Then the sensitivity function would be of T with respect to alpha, alpha over T, the partial derivative of T with respect to alpha, evaluated at alpha equal alpha naught. Alternately, you can write the function as alpha over the numerator, the partial derivative of the numerator with respect to alpha, minus alpha over the denominator, the partial derivative of the, deriv of the denominator with respect to alpha, evaluated alpha equal nominal value alpha naught. In class activity one, for the following control system, determine the sensitivity for variations in gain K, which has a nominal value of one. Use the following graph of the sensitivity function to determine the frequency where the system is most sensitive to variations in K, and also find the magnitude at omega equal 1, 1.2, and 1.5 radians per second. So the first thing we're going to do is to find the closed loop transfer function for this block diagram. So we're going to have T of S is equal to K over S squared plus S divided by one plus k over s squared plus s. Getting rid of the complex fraction, we get k over s squared plus s plus k. Then getting the sensitivity function for the closed loop transfer function with respect to k, we get k over n, the partial derivative of n with respect to k, minus k over d, the partial derivative of d with respect to k, evaluated at k equal one. And now we put in the numerator of the closed loop transfer function. So we have k over k times one minus k over s squared plus s plus k times one, evaluated at k equal one. So we have one minus k over s squared plus s plus k, which equals s squared plus s over s squared plus s plus k. So now to find the magnitude, the first thing we're going to do is to evaluate the sensitivity function at s equal j omega. So we get j omega minus omega squared over j omega plus one minus omega squared. Remember we've put in the nominal value that k is equal to one. And now the magnitude of the sensitivity function would be equal to the square root of omega squared plus omega to the fourth power divided by the square root of the quantity one minus omega squared squared plus omega squared. And now we are ready to evaluate it at 1, 1.2, and 1.5. At omega 
equal to one radian per second, we get that the magnitude of the sensitivity function is 1.414. At omega equal 1.2 radians per second, we get that the magnitude of the sensitivity function is 1.467. And at omega equal to 1.5 radians per second, we get that the magnitude of the sensitivity function is 1.385. So what you should see here is that if we come over here and look at the graph, the function is beginning to maximize right around this area here, which is something close to between 1.2 and 1.5. If you want to know the exact value, what we would do is take the derivative of the magnitude of the sensitivity function with respect to omega and set it equal to zero. And when we solve that for omega, we get that omega is equal to the square root of two plus two on the square root of three over two, which is 1.1687 radians per second. And at this frequency, the magnitude of the sensitivity function J1.1687 is equal to 1.468. So let's confirm this by looking at the graph.